and welcome back to my channel we're back for another reaction video this one is for game of thrones game of thrones season six episode four and it is called shit um book of strangers uh some things to get out of the way book of the stranger by the way some things to get out of the way i got patreon uh, where you can see the next three episodes early the next two episodes are on early access as well as the third episode uh, reaction is on earlier access You'll find the link in the description down below. Just go there and it will all be explained. Also, I got a P.O. box. If you want to send me something, you can. You can send me large. My phone just moved. And I'm a little bit scary because it's falling all the time. So, tripod is fucking up. Anyways, uh, you can send me anything. anything letters, drawings, uh, pictures of yourself um, with, with a story, backstory about yourself and why you got to my channel. You can send me merchandising, everything you want, actually, what is able to be sent by law. <laughs> um, also, I got a merchandise website where you can buy some merchandising of my channel. Um, T-shirts or uh, Viking shields or um, coffee mugs, you name it. And there will be um, more things on it soon. Okay, so that's out of the way. Um, last episode, episode three, Outbreaker. Uh, John, he came to life in episode two, and he executed both um, Thorn, Alistair Thorn, as well as uh, Ollie, as well as the other uh, council members, or at least I think they, they were council members. They at least were at the stabbing of John in the last episode of season five. Um, he executed them. He hung. He hung them. And um, now his watch is over. He, he he left Castle Black. He left the Night Watch. I was like, what the fuck are you going to do now? I mean, I just didn't understand. I was very um, in, a, in a minor mood, mood I think. Uh, um, I, was a little, I was a little confused. I think I was a little confused there. So what the hell is he going to do now? I mean, he left the Night Watch. I'm not sure if he took um, Oath. Uh, I'm not sure if he, could, he took his sword with him, Longclaw. I, I didn't see it. At least he gave... Um, his cloak and uh, the Night's Watch commander to um, his, his best friend and uh, he's now going away. Um, we saw that Ramsey got through Lord Umber, Rickon and Asha and Lord Umber or his men killed the direwolf of Rickon. That's fucked up. That is really fucked up. I, uh, we haven't seen him much so I don't, I, don't, I don't have any much feelings about Rickon or the die wolf but it's it's just fucked up because uh, before that i just said i, I like lord umber because of the way he talked and stuff like that but yeah then they fuck it up that's just how uh, that's just how game of thrones works right um we saw that kevin is now kevin um lennis is now hannah the king and they are um they don't want cersei or jamie or the mountain at the council meetings small council meetings Tom and he had a conversation with the High Sparrow, which looked, in the end, pretty uh, friendly. I'm not so sure that that's good or not. Um, also, Arya, she gained her eyes back through the well of in the house of Black and White. I mean, I thought death death was um, what was coming from the well, but apparently eyes grow back too. <laughs> Yeah, it was. A, till now, I'm really enjoying this fucking show and the season, of course. But I was a little confused by the end of this episode, uh, by the end of the last episode. So, fuck Sansa and Pod and Brienne. Fuck, she's home, or at least almost home. She was home. Oh, look at Tormund watching her. Yeah. 
That was a um, mix and match look, right? <laughs> How happy will they be? It has been a fucking while. All right in the first minutes of the episode. Oh, this is... Oh, man. Oh, this is... This is... Enjoyable. It's been so long. It's been such a fucking long time. Don't crush these high fucking feelings. <laughs> Come on. God damn it. <laughs> really. First fucking minutes. Already wet. In the, in the eyes. This is good soup. <laughs> Spent a lot of time thinking about what an ass I was to you. <laughs> I wish I could change everything. We were children. I was awful, just admit it. <laughs> you were occasionally awful. <laughs> I'm sure I can't have been grateful and always sulking in the corner while the rest of you played. Can you forgive me? There's nothing to forgive. Forgive me. All right. <laughs> All right, I forgive you. <laughs> this is beautiful. And she's grown to be a beautiful woman also, by the way. <laughs> you think after thousands of years, the Night's Watch would have learned how to make a good ale? Mm -hmm. Home brood. Where will you go? Or should we tell the Boltons to pack up and leave? <laughs> we'll take it back from them. Wow, she is fucking insane already. She has balls. How many wildlings did you save? They didn't come here to serve me. They owe you their lives. I will do as John Snow commands. <laughs> it's not John Snow now. He's the prince that was promised. <laughs> He'd miss it, you know. Stannis, just before I executed him. Hmm. Yep. For Brienne, and nothing is in the past. Robin, right? <laughs> He's been growing up, by the way. He's been getting older. Tell me. Lord Royce, how many people knew of my travel plans with Sansa Stark? Not many. I shared my intentions with you and no one else. Ooh. Slander a man in his own home, you might find yourself crossing swords with him. Your home is the Vale. The Lord of the Vale stands before us. <laughs> and only his judgment concerns me. Loyalty, my lord. Yeah, I would I say that too. One more chance. What do you say? What's this fucking sick mind thinking? Fine. Your life depended on one butt? Is there a butt? Oh, there's no butt. She's my cousin. We should help her. That was my instinct as well. <laughs> Our Lord has spoken. Gather the Knights of the Vale. The time has come to do the fray. We came here to meet the Queen, and instead we're greeted by a dwarf and a eunuch. <laughs> Let's make this simple, shall we? <laughs> Tell me what you want. We want you to leave Slaver's Bay. Take your dragons and your mercenaries and go. The Queen Daenerys won't stay in Marine forever. The path takes her westward. When we last met, I offered her ships, so she could return to Westeros where she belongs. And yeah, she was never very friendly. She refused, them. she refused them because hundreds of thousands of men, women and children still lived in chains. As they have since the dawn of time. Here is the Queen's proposal. Slavery will never return to Marine, But she will give the other cities of Slaver's Bay time to adjust to the new order. What does that mean? Instead of abolishing slavery overnight, we will give you seven years to end the practice. That's a long time. Slaveholders will be compensated for the losses, of course, at fair prices. In exchange, 
You will cut off your support for the sons of the harpy. We do not support the sons of the harpy. Fine, fine. But you will cut it off all the same. <laughs> I do hope you accept, my friends. Yeah. You will not receive a better offer. You have made peace with the slavers. Oh, shit. Mm -hmm. uh, what did he say? <laughs> okay. But you have Sylvia Valla Mera if it thread us. Verdi Jelisk Ilvi Krenuntosi, Do Ilvira Gerosi. It's a good one. I gotta remember that one. Do not use me for your lies. Those men respect you. They respect me because they know who I am. They know I am loyal, as do I. I am loyal to my queen, not you. Mm -hmm. If you betray her work, you are my enemy. I am not betraying her work. I am trying to save her city. You promised the slavers they could keep slavery. For a short time. Seven yeah. years is not a short time for a slave. You right. understand things. Slavery is a horror that should be ended at once. War is a horror that should be ended at once. I can't do both today. You are wrong to trust these men. Don't trust the monsters. <laughs> I trust their self-interest. They're trustworthy if they're convinced that working with me is in their self-interest. You don't know them. You don't understand them. We are not human in their eyes. They look at me and see a weapon. They look at her and see a whore. They look at me and they see a misshapen little beast. <laughs> their contempt is their weakness. They'll underestimate us every time and we will use that to our advantage. You will not use them. They will use you. That is what they do. Yeah, well you don't know Tyrion yet. What? Did he miss? Wow. <laughs> Holy fuck. Did he bring the knife with him? Yeah, he brought the knife with him. Told you. That was close. Very attached to this knife. Alright. <laughs> if they find the body with a stab wound, the whole city will be looking for us. What is he doing? What the fuck? Dude! <laughs> what did he just do? He just... Bash his head in or what? Don't hurt her! You give us away. We have to go now. What? We will never get out of face Dothrak alive. All we can do is try. They got in alive, so... We can do more than that. What? And you're going to help me. Come. Let's go and see him. What? He. Your brother. No, this is a trick. This is a trick. No trick? Loris. Holy fuck, is he dead? Oh, he's not dead. You. Mm -hmm. They want me to help tear you down. That's why he's letting me see you. I know it is. Ah, so it is a trick. After all. What they want, then they win. Just make it stop. The king has been speaking regularly with the High Sparrow about Queen Marjorie and Sir Lawrence. The High Sparrow has seized power knowing full well we bicker amongst ourselves instead of seizing it back. Here we are. Well done to us. Hmm. Now the future of the Seven Kingdoms rests in his dirty peasant hands. Yes, Marjorie will repent her sins before the good people of the city. Oh no. <laughs> she won't. That cannot happen. That will not happen. I agree. Wow. You've got the second largest army in Westeros. We can bring them into the city. They just fought them. in Marjorie's humiliation before it starts. And take it back into crown custody. They've well, just the brought them back in the fucking council meeting. The High Sparrow, all the faith militant, out of fear for the queen's safety. You will take no action at all. 
When the Tyrell armies come, you will stand down. Were you expressly forbidden from standing down? No. But if the king should call then on you... nothing will be over before anyone can call on you to do anything. When the High Sparrow's in custody, or dead, preferably, <laughs> and Marjorie's back at Tom and side, do you think the king will be angry at the outcome? You hate these fanatics as much as we do. You hate what they've done to your son. Do you want Lancel back? Or have you given him up for good? Tell me what you want. The Bolton's dead. We should rule the Iron Islands. Wow. Let me help you. Oh shit, no. Oh Too soon. <laughs> what the fuck? Soldiers take turns raping your sister. Ooh. Do you will watch as my dogs devour your wild little brother? Then I will spoon your eyes from their sockets and let my dogs do the rest. Come and see. Ramsay Bolton, Lord of Winterfell, the Warden of the North. Fuck. Fuck this man. Lord of Winterfell and Warden of the North. His father's dead. We have to go back to Winterfell and save them both. He's not a fat boy, so. He's been out because he's a. I see a chili car. I see lucky it up. Yerivo Sechi. Yeriba Drivo. <laughs> oh shit! Wow, she is. Oh, she bought herself enough time. She bought herself enough time to get this done. Ah, oh, with the ball she has. Yeah, they blocked the doors. They blocked the doors. Oh shit! Wow. Yeah, but they're not dead yet. Wow. <laughs> she doesn't need dragons to spit fire. <laughs> Holy fuck. And you're gonna walk out there unscathed, right? Wow. She said you will lead. She will lead. This is fucking insane, man. And they're gonna bow again to you. <laughs> I would bow too. <laughs> Damn it. 
fucking hell. Yeah, bow. <laughs> bow before the queen, bitches. He's, he's amazing again. He hasn't seen this before, right? Holy fucking hell. She didn't need Joras and Darian Harris help. She couldn't done it all by her fucking self. She killed all the fucking calls. She killed she just killed them all. She just bought herself enough time to get her in the, in the circle to throw <laughs> the fire. Oh man. That was some amazing, amazing ending. Okay, god damn it. Ramsey killed Osha. I said it, it was too soon. Too fucking soon. He knew it and he did give a shit. He sent some threat letters to uh, Castle Black to lure John and um, Sansa back to Winterfell um, with the Wilding Army 2000. Well, he has more, much more. Um, so probably gonna see that battle because Melisandre, she uh, saw a big battle in the snow. So that's gonna happen probably, still. And I hope, <laughs> I so hope John is coming out on top. I mean, I hate this Ramsey so fucking much. This did, did, did there are a lot of villains in a lot of TV shows or movies that I hate, and Joffrey, he, he, um, in in in, in uh, Dutch saying we say, uh, I, I'm going to translate it right now to English. He spanned the crown. Um, he was on top of the, of those layers. I mean, like I said, I've I've seen a lot of villains, but he, he definitely was up there. But Ramsey, he's lonely at the fucking top. He's just lonely at the fucking top. He is, he's, he's, he's the baddest of them all. Yeah, he definitely is. I mean, Joffrey did. Joffrey wouldn't even kill his own parents. Um, but he, he killed his father. Ramsey killed his father. Theron, he, um, he invited the, the wise masters of Yonkai. And, um, and I think it was Card, but it's, it's not Card. I don't know which uh, city it is anymore. Um, Astapor, Yonkai and Astapor. Uh, he he's a politician. He's made for this job, so he, he worked out the deal. And Grey Worm, like I said, Grey Worm and and Missandei, they, they they are slaves, so they they don't like the the thing he he had to say. But I think it's 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 pretty much okay. It's pretty much okay. Um, wow. Just what? <sighs> we saw Theon um, getting back to his hometown, pledging his al allegiance to Yara. Um, the, the first moment, uh, the first couple of minutes of the episode, uh, Sansa walks in with Brienne and Pod. And that moment was just epic already. The first, like I said, the first fucking minutes of that show, of this episode, was was amazing. We saw that um, Cersei is 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 um, is now going in cahoots with um, with Olena Tyrell, uh, which will probably not work out for. Okay, uh, got to speed this up. I am almost uh, out of my memory again. Okay, I uh, really liked the episode. If you like my reaction, please give it a thumbs up. If you want, you can share around. And if you have not already, then please subscribe to my channel while you're at it. Click that little bell button. You will automatically update when a new video comes out. If you want to see the next three episodes early, go to Patreon and it will be all explained there. Okay, it was very fast, but just put it on slow-mo <laughs> and you will uh, hear it. Okay, thank you for watching and I'll definitely see you back for the next reaction video. Ciao!